Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 45. Today we provide alternatives to the now defunct KeepVid. So a bit less than a year ago, in Tech Tuesday number 19, we covered how to save YouTube videos for offline use through a website called KeepVid.com. KeepVid has been around for years and has been a staple for many educators and students for its simple functionality. Well, it's now been effectively shut down and only provides information and no download services. The ability to download videos is important for fair use and for educators in general because it allows you to use clips of a video for commentary or for instructional purposes. Sometimes an educator wants to cut out an objectionable part of a video before they show it to class, or they want to re-upload it to quiz sites like Edpuzzle, or maybe they just want to provide it for students to view if they don't have YouTube access at their schools. A downloaded video can also help with bandwidth issues at a school or even help you if you're presenting at a conference and you aren't sure if you're going to have web access. Well, we're happy to report that you do have several options, both online and as installed programs on your computer. So let's take a look at the websites first. My favorite is vidpaw.com because it's pretty easy to use and it's really quick. This is the site, it's very clean and simple. You go in here, you paste the YouTube URL, hit start, and it provides you with download options. It even lets you download as audio only or video only. Videograbber.net is another one that works pretty well, and they even have a desktop version there. You just hit download and it pops up same kind of menu and you choose what you want. Now videograbber.net is a little bit more spammy, they have a lot more things on their screen and all, and it does kind of have a few pop-ups, but otherwise it's okay. Ace Thinker is a third one that's free, just in case the other ones are down, and it does have ads on the page. In fact, my ad blocker blocked four of them here, but it's otherwise about the same as the rest of them. You can hit download, and then it'll provide you with options, and you choose which one you want to download. If you'd rather have a computer program that runs independently, you can go with DVD VideoSoft. DVD VideoSoft is clean, it's fast, it's lightweight, and it's pretty user-friendly, but it does have some limitations. A big one is that it's limited to 30-minute videos or less, and if you want to go higher than that, you have to pay for it and get the premium version. Some people just prefer to have an app that does it instead of a website. Me, I like to work in the cloud, so I'm going to stick with the website, and my favorite one currently is VidPaul. So, as you've seen, these websites are pretty easy to use, but as you also know, websites are subject to change. So if any of these do change, please let us know. Leave a comment in the bottom, and we'll see if we can find other alternatives for you. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button, and uh, why not support us and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below, and share this video with your friends. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.